Uh, it's just me today. I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite digging spots to find some old bottles. Um, as you know, my good, my good friend Titan Carlman passed away a few days ago. I, I actually survived. I was just, I was just kidding. I, I didn't actually die. It's a crazy thing. But yeah, it's pretty sad that Titan died. I mean, it was a win-win situation for me because I was the only one in his will. Turns out he had millions of dollars in his bank account. And I, I don't, I've known him for since middle school. I don't know how he got all that money. He had, mentioned something about bank fraud, but I don't know anything about that. I'm, I'm five years old. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. All right, here we are. This is a old dump in the slums of Dallas. And here's my hole. I'm gonna take you guys down in there. Oh yeah, look at all that. That's all trash from the early 1900s. All kinds of crazy stuff. I like this place. This place is fucking huge. Let me just show you guys. One second. Holy fuck! What? What the? Titan? Uh. Hi. Titan. What the? F You're dead. What happened? Look, I'm gonna be... I'm be honest with you, alright? I was... I got millions of dollars from uh, the banks. I did some bank fraud. And the CIA was on my butt. And when the sh snake shot me, I thought it was just a good idea to just go ghost. And I moved to the creeks of Dallas. I, I don't know what to say. Well, you're safe out here. You're safe with me. You can lay low with me. I'm just happy you're alive. Uh, look at the titans in the wild. Uh, here's a big hole. He probably dug this out himself. Let's see. Get out of there! Oh, I, I can't see your head. My head is right here. <laughs> Titan just found this beauty. It's the Owl Drugstore. Hee <laughs> hee. Dallas, Texas. And he would have smashed it if I didn't tell him to look. If it was embossed, I would have not smashed it. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. You were ha you wanted me to slam my shovel into the ground really hard and go fast, but I was going nice and slow. Look what I just popped out. Haha. <laughs> it's a little eye drop thing. This is this is the hey Titan. This is the stopper to the bottle and you put your eye drop medicine in the cup and you put the cup to your eye. See how it's made for your eye? And then you pour it in your eye. Cool. Pretty blue. Pretty poo. This is a little brownitone bottle. That's, believe it or not, that's the first suntan lotion crazy. Look what I just found. What? That is something. That is a... What is that? Titan, what is it? Hairbrush? This is an antique hairbrush for children. It's a children's hairbrush. 
did you find? It's it's a really sad day. I just found a real life baby's head. Oh, wow. And it's smaller because the people were smaller back then. Mm -hmm. We've really evolved over these years. And there it is, perfectly preserved. He still has that smile on his face. He died happily. Yeah. Right? Back then they had gills. Uh, yeah, they did. And they had pointed heads. They had pointed heads. To protect them. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm falling. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna keep that. I just found another crazy artifact. Uh, I get I. You guys might have to help me out with this one. Titan, what is that? That's spaghetti. The hole gets really, really deep back there, like really deep, and I'm digging down right here. And guys, I found a drum pad from the early 1800s early 1800s it's crazy that rubber survives that long I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out for us fuck actually hold on Jesus Christ Lord let me get that shovel that out. came out like a piece of pie it looks like a pie you go for some pie right now all right nope it just rolled back in sweet I know I got it I got it this time so this is the drum pad. Wow. That's insane. Y'all think I'm playing, but I literally just stuck this up. Oh look. Looks like there's a penis on there, bro. Yeah, that's definitely a penis. Someone marked a penis on there, but wow. That's insane. All right, guys, so um, we found some really cool stuff today uh, so far. We, we found some really cool bottles and shit, and, like, um, we found a drum pad, which was insane. And the only issue is the drum pad, we can't play on it because we don't have sticks with us. So I just thought of something. I'm going to show you all how to make some drumsticks in the forest when you don't have any. Here we go, follow me real quick. All right, so got this tree over here. And what do you make sticks out of? Wood. So we got this tree right here. Um, this is a nice mahogany tree. Very tall, very nice. Easy to work with, very easy to work with. All right, so what you're gonna do, step one, you're gonna need to make a big piece of wood fall off for your sticks. So. Us, we don't have a axe or anything, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand like this, and you go, So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that, and uh, I'll be back in a few seconds. As you can tell, I went really hard, got this, oh God, there's a bug on it. I got this really nice piece of wood, chopped it with my hands, um, you can see the tree. I accidentally chopped over the whole tree, but the tree has fallen right here. We threw some shit over it to make sure nobody trips on it. So, um, we've got this nice piece of wood. Uh, follow me real quick. Just, you can stay right there, but the camera will follow me. Um, we don't, we forgot a knife, so we're gonna do this the easy way. We're gonna... Go, go to a different tree. This is not the same tree. Not the same tree. <laughs> and then we're gonna use this. We're gonna start, you know, scraping away. And I'll be right back, right when I'm done with that. And we're finished. Well, almost finished. Ah, oh, shit. I actually, you know what? Let me find. Ah, this will do the trick. Find yourself a brick. All right, we're going for the hammers, but obviously these sticks don't say hammer on them. So we're gonna take this 
piece of rock. We're just gonna engrave it real quick. Oh, I'm, you don't have to, hold on, let me just engrave it. Right there, oh, wow. first hammers. Really and then get this other one real quick. Oh shit. And I finished that one as well. Um, you wow. always got to find a rock that does the chalk and this is a special rock So I'm just gonna set it right there um, And there we go. We have a couple of drumsticks. My hands are pretty cold from that, but um, yeah Do those feel any good? They're perfect. Hey, you know what they say. I'm perfect and everything I do is perfect. All right, guys, we're coming to the end of our bottle hunting adventure. Um, we're getting a little bit hungry, so we're gonna have a quick snack before we head out. Um, we brought some bananas, so we're gonna chow on some bananas, um, eat that, and then we'll go home, so. Today, we're doing a cooking, cooking segment. <laughs> it's, this is my grandfather's recipe for popcorn homemade. What are you, what are you putting in there? I can't tell, it's a secret. It's a secret, it's a secret, it's a secret. <clears throat> Get back with you when we Poppin'. Wait, what is the next part? What did we put in here? Oh, that's the butter. That goes on the popcorn. Oh! Okay. It's real butter. Alright, next segment. Put the kernels. Put the kernels in the stove. Put the kernels in the stove. They are inside of the stove right now. Make sure it's all oily. Nice and oily. And... This is a strainer. Mm -hmm. We put it on top to strain it. Strainer? I hardly know her. Put the napkin on the strainer. Napkin on the strainer. So that the oil gets through the strainer mm -hmm. and it gets on the napkin. What do you do next? We wait. Pop. Gotta do it like such. Pretend that handle is still, and you'd be like moving the handle around in a way that would the handle would like it. Wow! Hear that, guys? 
It's popping. That's the popcorn. That's the popcorn. That's why it's called popcorn. It pops. Here we got the butter. That's pretty interesting. Wow. It's going crazy. It's going great. Wow. Time for the big reveal. What? <gasps> Whoa. That was a bunch of kernels in there before. Guys, y'all think I'm kidding. Y'all think this is. Oh, God, that's hot. Okay. We're going to go ahead and turn you down there. Spanky. Okay, let's go ahead and look what's in this bowl. What? Popcorn. Alright, what do we do next, Bryce? Take this. Put it on it. Mm. Like that. Leave some in the pan. And we put salt on it. Ah. We're making sure, we're showing you how to make it, but we're making sure you never make it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ooh, toss it. Wow. Chef Price. Now, you do it again. Sure, all the butter gets used. Yeah. Wow. Grandpa's popcorn. Hey guys, so I've been talking to Bryce, man, and we realized I should probably tell you what type of salt we were using. We're using bath salts. Um, again, another just amazing thing you should probably use. Um, so that's that.